What's up everybody? It's John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to give you guys a quick pro tip. Okay. When you have a girl come over to the house, okay, whether it be a fuck buddy, a regular a rotation girl, okay, a girl that's part of your harem, or it be a girl for a new date that's coming straight to the house, I advise that you wear loose fitting pants. What do I mean by that? Wind pants, basketball shorts, flannel pants, okay? I'll typically be wearing just some kind of casual shirt and flannel pants, or I'll have wind pants or something like that. And <laughs> you may be asking yourself why. The reason is when you get into escalation with the girl, whether it be on the couch or, or wherever the fuck you happen to be starting to be physical with her and making out with her, it will be to your advantage to form an erection in these loose fitting pants okay if you're wearing jeans and it's, it's also easier to take these pants off okay if you're wearing jeans um or some kind of tight pants with buttons okay you have to undo your belt you have to fucking undo the um the button and the zipper and your boner your erection is not going to be as prevalent Okay, it's not, it's not going to be as obvious when you do indeed get aroused, okay? So, the point is not to be some kind of fucking creep, just like popping wood in the in the sweatpants or the, the wind pants, you know, and being like, hey, like, <laughs> it's more so as you get into making out and stuff like that, it's going to be easier for her to feel it, it's going to be more visible to her. It's going to make you look bigger. Okay, if your fucking dick is suppressed in some tight jeans, for instance, it's just going to be underwhelming visually. Okay, the girl is going to possibly not even see it. It's going to be like tucked away to the side. Whereas it's hard to miss it. <laughs> There's some phrase I think that you stand out like a boner in sweatpants. Um, if you have sweatpants or wind pants on or basketball shorts, for instance, it's much easier for her as she's rubbing your chest or your body to all of a sudden transition down and start rubbing you there and she can have more contact with it. It's more like freestanding, so to speak, in your pants. And by the same token, you should be wearing boxer shorts, not like tidy whities because the tidy whities can compress and suppress your erection as well. So uh, kind of a, a nuanced point and topic but it is important um so i try to usually have and oh another thing you can do is you can take a condom okay I, I have a video about condom mastery and all that shit right like how you should have condoms positioned around the house near where you're going to have sex etc cetera, etc cetera. but you can have a condom also in one of the pockets of the wind pants or the sweatpants or the basketball shorts or the flannel pants and now you are ready to go so that when things get to the point where you guys are about to have sex, ta-da, you now have a condom on hand, okay? So it's a, it's a minor thing, but it, it will help, okay? Because if she has to undo a bunch of buttons and the belt and all that stuff, it's going to slow down the whole process, okay? And, you know, it just going to cause, like, a lapse in, in buying temperature. The same, like, reverse principle is true. Like, if, like an easier way to escalate with a girl while you're making out if she's wearing like a skirt or a dress, right, where you can start rubbing her leg and then start fingering her, that's a lot easier than like some tight jeans that you have to like unbutton and unzip and like now she has to like pull them down because they're too tight around her waist and it's like a lot more uh, effort required, okay? It's easier for her to lose some buying temperature there. So that's pretty much it. Have a have a go-to set of pants that you will wear. Even if you um, happen to come back from a date, like I do this too. Like when you come back from a date, like say you meet at a public venue, you're at a coffee place or a bar or dinner or whatever, and you're wearing jeans, which is what people typically wear into public. And then... Um, you get back to your place, now you can say, oh, I want to like be in something more comfortable, okay? And then you go 
and change into the magical sweatpants or wind pants, whatever it may be, or the flannel pants. <laughs> Keep listing all the examples. Um, yeah, and so you can even make things easier. You can wear like no underwear under the flannel pants. So it's like another less step that you have to do when you guys are starting to take your clothes off. Um, and it's up to you without fucking being a creep or being weird or, or, you know, being too sexually aggressive. You can make a light joke about your erection that is clearly at a tension in your pants. Okay. So typically I'll start making out with a chick or being physical. I get hard and then I'm like, look what you did. Right? And she looks down and it looks fucking awesome in wind pants or sweatpants. Whereas in the jeans, like I said, depending on the jeans and how tight they are, etc., it's really gonna be like pushed to the side, it's gonna be compressed, it's not gonna be able to like fully stand up <laughs> like the real slim shady. And it just won't look as impressive and it, it's not going to be like cueing her in to like it's it's very easy to like lean back and be like mm, like look how much you turn me on or or, what, or whatever the fuck or for her to just notice it herself and which will possibly cause her to be inclined uh to grab it or otherwise touch it okay so i hope that was helpful for you guys <laughs> i'm going to be getting into some infield footage breakdowns again it's been a while since i've done that um I am running live programs now all over the globe, okay? So if you are interested in live programs, email me either at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com or john at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. I see both those emails. And I have coaches running programs all over. So I had a guy just run a 10-day program for me in Vegas. He had one of the clients was a virgin. There was three poles in that program by the virgin. He closed two of them, okay, and one of them was an eight. Okay, so here's a guy, and this guy had taken RSC programs and Todd's program before. And this is, you know, this isn't even me coaching. The coaches that I hired for the team are 300 lay count or more. They have extensive experience coaching and a track record of getting guys very good results at this. Okay, they're also extremely passionate and driven about the game. Okay, so I have guys that can literally teach anywhere in the world right now. They're on all the different continents. And I was very, very, very picky and selective, like I said. I had a whole bunch of guys that wanted to coach for me, but I only hired the best of the best, okay, guys that are teaching my exact system and that have gotten guys very proven results. So a lot of times, like, guys are, like, not even, like, realizing that, that programs are available anywhere. Even if you don't live in a major city, I can potentially make arrangements for a coach to come to you. So please email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com or john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. Okay. There will probably be another tour going around the world at some point. I'm going to have these coaches start going on their own tours. Um, you're able to speak with them and with me on a three-way call so that we can make sure it's a good fit. Can go over the entire program structure all the details find out your exact sticking points and weak points and go over a plan how we will address those and how we will fix those okay there's a three-day option a seven-day option and a 10-day option the seven and the ten give us of course more time to do the nighttime game and the daytime game but they also cover all the rest of the stuff they go into exactly how to set up your online profile exactly how to do all your texting, how you're going to build and manage rotations, how you're going to game hired guns, how you're going to game strippers, okay, hired guns or girls are hired for their beauty. So it's covering every little piece that leads to results. And that's very extensive, okay? But if you can only make the three day, that's very complete as well. You will leave that as an expert of night game and day game. And all your sticking points will be removed and Unless you're an extreme hard case, which means you have extreme trouble even approaching in the first place, like you can't go up to a stranger, or you can't hold like a very basic conversation.
barring those two things, the odds are very high we're going to make you advanced. Okay? So email me if you're interested in that. Thank you guys so much for watching.